Okay, welcome back to Financial Solutions today. I am your coach, Jay, and we are here to help you build your wealth. Okay, so today we are going to learn how to pay yourself first. Wow, so, okay, so how to pay yourself first. Alam niyo po kasi, ano, uh, every day of our life, we work so hard. We work so hard to make money. But the moment we receive our income, so immediately we pay. We pay usually our bills. No? That's why there's a priesthood board that says poor person paid themselves pay themselves up their bills. Okay? So you pay Miralco, you pay Smart, you pay PLDT, you pay Petron, Shell, okay, Caltex, Uni Oil, so whatsoever, gasoline. So you pay Globe. Okay? So you pay all of this but the problem is, uh, dahil inubos mo lahat yung income mo with all of these uh, companies, with all of these bills, ang tanong is, pag nagkasakit ka ba ay papagamot ka ni Meralco? Or papagamot ka ba ni SM? So that's our problem. No? So we have to learn how the rich people thinks. Rich person always pay themselves first okay so the question is how are you going to pay yourself first okay so usually we use we use an we use the formula and we learned it in our previous topic of uh, the 10 20 70 rule and basically yan talaga dapat kasi yung kaninang formula natin ang nangyayari is income minus expenses equals savings so, eto, they, you don't pay yourself first here. You pay your bills first. And you will never build your wealth. This is, a, this is a poverty formula. Okay, so if you want, if you want to build wealth, then we have to use the rich formula of paying yourself first, and that is income. Of course, you pay God first. That's why the first thing that you need to deduct is tithes. Then the next thing that you deduct is savings. Yung matitira, yun ang expenses. No? So basically, this is where you pay yourself first. Okay? Now, sometimes the problem is... Uh, Sabi nung iba, kulang na nga yung income ko eh. Kulang talaga. So, wala akong ilalaan dyan sa pay yourself first. So, first, we have to make sure we understand our the flow of our expenses. Okay? Do we live above our means? How do you say that you live above your means? Kumita ka ng 20,000, tapos ang gastos mo, 25,000. So, anong naiwan? Negative 5,000, which is translated into debt. Or you may be a person who live uh, within your means. So, you always uh, try to do within your budget. Live within your means. But living within your means means you earn 20,000, but you also spend 20,000 and you have no savings to left. So this is also a, a, a formula, what we call paycheck to paycheck. Yung, alam niyo yung sakto lang, no? But to live your, to, for you to be able to pay yourself first, you live, you need to live below your means. Okay? And that is you earn 20,000 and you deduct Okay, you you spend only 15,000 so you will have a savings of 
5,000 pesos. Okay? So we have to, this is, this is the formula that we need in order for us to uh, pay ourselves first. Now, when you pay yourself first, then how do you handle it? So what does pay yourself first, pay yourself first means? Pay yourself first means that every peso earned, every peso you earn is every peso saved and every peso save must grow and multiply so that is pay yourself first means so what does it tells us so when you say pay, pay yourself first number one of course you need to save money you need to allot money at least 20 percent of what you are earning okay so at least minimum so if you are earning twenty thousand pesos then you have to save times 20%, that is 4,000 pesos. Okay? So that supposedly, in fact, is a biblical principle in Genesis 31, 41, chapter 34, 37, that in Joseph the Dreamer, keep one-fifth of our harvest. So that is 20%. So when you save money, you save money to buy asset. So that's what we tells you that every peso earned, you need to say is every peso, every peso saved is peso earned, and every peso earned or every peso earned rather is peso saved, and every peso saved must grow and multiply. How do you grow it? So you have to make sure you buy asset. Okay. So we have we have a differentiate asset versus liability. Okay, so you don't buy your 20% savings for liabilities. So assets should be, uh, it will put money to your pocket. Okay, so meaning, mag-grow yung pera mo dyan, no? Kasi, kasi pag liabilities, okay, it will take out money to your pocket. So what are those example assets like? If you buy properties, as we have discussed, okay, so you can turn that properties into an income producing asset. Okay, so that's one way also of paying yourself first. So when you say pay yourself first, because uh, every, every money that you save here is for yourself, is actually uh, meant to for you, for your uh, for you to enjoy life so maybe you will be using it for retirement that's why you can compartmentalize your savings like you you in the in the in the savings how many how much you will put in your retirement how much you will put in your dream home how much you will put in your health so this is all about yourself Okay. Of course, you can still uh, uh, how much you will put to your dream car as long as your dream car is used to, you will use it in your businesses, then it can become income producing. At least you will know, you will know how to live with below your means here when you understand how much money you are going to put in this particular uh, expenses. Okay, so I hope that you learn from this that uh, we work so hard, we work so hard to make money, but it's very important in building wealth that we pay ourselves first, okay? So continue to uh, subscribe to our, to our YouTube channel, Financial Solutions Today. Please like also our Facebook page, Financial Solutions Today, and continue to learn from our... Uh, uh, from the different principle about financial planning. And I would also request everyone if you can share it, okay, share it and spread this uh, learning to every person that you know and to every person that you care. Thank you so much, everyone. God bless everyone.